Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel if you're new here. My name is Sofia and today we're filming a weekend reading vlog. I tried to film this week reading vlog but I didn't read anything. We're excited because it's October 2nd. It's Saturday, October 2nd and Halloween is here. October is here. Spooky season is here and I couldn't be more excited. I love how the book community just <laughs> shows up in October. I adored it and everyone does amazing makeup and like amazing theme videos and readathons and I adored it. I wish I could join some readathons but I'm not gonna be able to if you are joining any readathons please tell me in the comments because I love seeing readathon blogs and stuff and if you're blogging just let me know because I will adore to see those videos. But uh, let's go for what I'm planning to read this weekend. So the first book that I wanted to finish, probably today, it's Kingdom of the Wicked by Carrie Maniscalco. I'm reading this book with M. We decided to buddy read it and we were supposed to start it at the beginning of this week, but it was just crazy busy week for us. So um, I think M is around the 200 page mark and I made it to page 100 today. I'm sure you have seen this book around because it was quite big last year and the second book on the series Kingdom of the Curse is coming out in a few days so maybe I will read that in the next vlog because if I like this one I'm probably gonna want to continue. It's a story about twin witches and one day one of them is found murdered so the sister kind of has to summon this prince of hell to help her like find what happened to the sister so I'm really liking it so far. I have to say the first few pages were a bit hard to get into but once the prince of hell shows up which is around page 50 it just super smooth and you just want to keep reading it like you can't stop. I read a hundred pages super fast. I might do a sprint later today so I just I just really want to finish it. Then I want to start Mexican Gothic by Silvia Moreno Garcia. It's really short so I think I could make it work for this weekend. I do have a lot of things to do. I have a lot of Etsy shop orders to pack because the autumn update went live not so long ago. I will link my studio blog video if it's up. I won't tell you what it is about right now because <laughs> I haven't started so I really don't know. And then if I can make it I will squish a bit of The Thursday Murder Club by Richard Osman. I also want to change my bookshelves so last year I made this kind of Halloween bookshelves and I want to recreate them but now that I have much more like bookshelf space. I have to see what I do because I don't have that many red and black books but I'll try my best. I'll just try my best. I don't know what more to tell you. I'm just super excited. I've been listening to autumn music. Um, I also hope you like the new intro, the spooky intro. I just, I don't know. I really like this. <laughs> I wanted to do something special for October. Um, so yeah, let's get today started. <laughs> so my sister came to have lunch with us at home and she brought the puppy so I, I didn't read much this morning. I started reading it and I made it to chapter 19, page 139 and we are meeting all the princes of hell so we have met Graf which is, you know, the main character and then we also have met Greed and Envy and they're really interesting how they work their magic to like to change your emotion and stuff and it was really nice to like, read about it. Also the whole mystery behind the twin sisters because they say they are witches but I think their their grandma is like not telling them everything and they probably have a big part in hell and a curse that happened a while back. I just really want to know um, about it. It's really interesting how she makes like this fantasy kind of element with a mystery as well. It's what's keeping me engaged because I love mystery and the thrillers. The enemies to lovers. Yes, I mean, what can I say about it? It's it's been nice so far. I just hope they don't turn like really super lobby super fast. I want like. I want them fighting. <laughs> so it is 6 p.m. in about an hour. I'm doing live sprints and then I wanted to finish the book and it's been a while since I've done live sprints. So we're just gonna do that. Can we also see how good this bookmark matches the book? 
Yes. You're reading and I try to find the creepiest timer ever. I think I found it. <laughs> it looks like we are about to die. Oh my god. <laughs> what the hell? Page 233 by the way, if you have the book and you want to see what I'm talking about. 233. I cannot tell you how much I am enjoying King of the Wicked. Um, I will say it's not like nothing really much is happening, but just because of the romance and how bantery and just how much dialogue is in there, I think it's really good when you are not really in a fantasy mood. So I want to say this: this is more of a romance than a fantasy because the world isn't like really hard to understand. And I think it just it was the perfect book to get me back into fantasy mood because after this, I do want to really get into a more heavier one where more things happened. And I think in the next book, we are probably going to hell, <laughs> literally. And if we travel to hell, we are going to be able to see all the houses of the seven scenes so it would be um more fantasy kind of thing more world building and stuff but right now it's really romancy and really enemies to lovers and i just i really like it also the fact that it's set in italy it's really good and and it's really making me want to pick italy italian back um back up because i did learn it for a bit but left it on page 267 i have this much left i hope i can finish it right now fucking mad at this ending what is this what is this ending what was that really mad at that ending but you know what i'm gonna get the next book because i need to get that like how can i not Let's start a Mexican coffee. <laughs> Look at this fresh. What was that ending? Let's start this baby. I don't want to break the spine, so I'm gonna do that trick where you like do a little bit at a time. It's pretty flat. The cover is like. Quite a floppy one as well. So just take little by little. Hello and good morning. Um, it's Sunday, and I have to do a bunch of things before reading, but. Mexican Gothic, I'm coming for you next. I'm still hella mad at Kingdom of the Wicked ending. <laughs> I dreamt about it. That's... <sighs> Thank God the next book is coming out like next Tuesday. Cause, yes. I am, I am feeling a reorganization. So I'm gonna do the Halloween bookshelves. To put together all my black and red books i also um took the dust jacket out of some of them for example all of the throne of glass books because they they look 
better like they fit better the concept like these and i kind of turn around all the ones that won't work um i have more red ones i've never been happier to be a victoria shop stand because all our books are black red and white and we love that um i have to clean these ones in the bottom but those also count so far it looks like these this look this shelf looks really good like if you take this one out that looks super cool um i don't know what i'm gonna do i didn't thought this was gonna be <laughs> so hard i don't know how i did it last time progress i made so far i don't know how i feel about it so i think i'm gonna leave and i'll continue tomorrow i'll just put all my books however i can in there and continue tomorrow because i'm not feeling it right now i'm overwhelmed Monday, and I think I'm gonna leave the weekend reading vlog at here. I mean, it's Monday, so I'll better just end it because it wouldn't be the weekend, you know. This is not funny. I ended up only finishing Kingdom of the Weekend, and I read the whole thing on Saturday, I think it was, and I adored it till the last part. Like, you saw my reaction to the ending. Next book was coming out this Tuesday, so I already ordered that, and, and I'm, pro I'm probably gonna read the second book in this series in the next vlog because just no what was that ending i was so mad it was a five star read till that ending i think i'm gonna give it a 3.75 because yes it was really really enjoyable i really like that it's said in italy and as i said they curse in it in italian and i just kind of understand it and can connect to it and i really adore that i also like the witch part of it i want to see more of the magic and power that uh, amelia our main character has so if you are on a reading slump and you want to get back into like fantasy or something i think this is perfect so that's gonna be all for this weekend reading vlog i really hope you enjoyed it let me know what was your first october book or if you're currently reading it let me know which one it is i'm always open for spooky book recommendations if you want to keep updated with my reads i have a good read i have an instagram where i post daily and i'll just link everything down below if you want to check it out thank you so much for watching giving you all the spooky vibes in the witch witch beach autumn <laughs> i love you guys and i'll see you in the next one bye